Hey everyone, in this quick tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can use the Motion Pilot tool in Cartoon Animator 5 to fine tune your motion path results to be more precise. If you're not yet familiar with the Motion Pilot tool, please check out the Getting Started tutorial first. Let's start off with the Motion Pilot settings. You'll want to make sure that you've downloaded the free resource pack Puppet and Path first in order to get this Phoenix demo character we're using, which already comes with spring bones and effects. We can open up the Motion Pilot tool to get a little preview of how it animates. As you can see, it is using flip mode in the face cursor settings. We can switch that to turn mode for a smoother, more rounded path result. There is also an embedded wing flapping action that can be activated by clicking the mouse. Let's take a couple of seconds now to record some puppet animation with our mouse movement, which will convert to a path. Once we finish, you can see some keys in the transform track and a motion clip in the motion track. The transform keyframes record the movement parameters, while the motion clip records the blend motion information here. To get a path, we can select all of the transform keys and right click, then select convert to path. You can then open the path properties to tweak the positioning of the generated path points for more control over the flight path of your Phoenix. Lastly, you'll need to select the Phoenix and open up path properties once again to assign the Phoenix to your newly created path, being sure to select the follow path keys option as we want to retain some path progress and constraint and offset keyframes that can be further customized if we wish. It will now be constrained to the path until you detach it. The wing flapping animation will be retained as that data is included in the motion clip we mentioned earlier, while we now have a fully customizable path that we can tweak more if we wish. That's it for this quick video guys. It's that easy to generate a motion path to give you more control over the progress of your character or object. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.